Ten years after 9-11, significant numbers of New Yorkers still say they don't believe the official version of the event. They say there's been a massive cover-up of what really caused the Twin Towers to fall. A book that debunked that theory has been re-released ahead of the anniversary to set the record straight. Our Bobby Cusa has that story. Bobby? Thank you, Lewis. Well, several years ago, the staff of Popular Mechanics put out what is probably the most comprehensive analysis of 9-11 conspiracy theories, and now they're back with an updated version. The old Seven World Trade Center housed offices for the CIA, the Secret Service, and the city's Office of Emergency Management. So when it collapsed on 9-11, despite not having been struck by a plane, conspiracy theories flourished. The government says that fire brought it down. However, 1,500 architects and engineers concluded it was a controlled demolition. A group called Remember Building 7 launched these TV ads in June calling for a new investigation and commissioned a poll that found more than one in four New Yorkers believe the Twin Towers were brought down by demolition devices. Exactly the kind of theory James Meggs set out to investigate. What we've tried to do in our, our book at Popular Mechanics is to look at those facts, look at the claims the conspiracy theorists themselves are making, and see if they, there's any factual basis to it. Meggs commissioned this exhaustively researched 2005 report, which became a book, newly updated and re-released. It examines 25 9-11 theories and finds no scientific basis for any, including the demolition of Building 7. After a lot of analysis, we now know that it was a result of prolonged fires that ultimately weakened some of the beams. But Meggs acknowledges myths will persist, no matter the facts. Witness the disruption at this news conference with World Trade Center leaseholder Larry Silverstein. Larry Silverstein was told not to come into work. That's why him, his daughter, and his son never showed up to work on 9-11. But facts matter, Meg says, especially when misinformation abounds. If some high school kid is uh, writing a paper about 9-11 today. He or she doesn't even remember the event. You go online, the majority of the hits you're going to come up with are from conspiracy websites. Maybe people hear about conspiracy theories and wonder, well, is there a grain of truth there or not? And so, you know, I think it's important that, that we be clear about the facts. Facts that they say don't bear out any conspiracy. The updated edition of Debunking 9-11 Myths, by the way, is now in bookstores. At the World Trade Center side, I'm Bobby Cusa. Lewis, back to you. Thanks, Bobby.